Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with an episode of Buds and Suds. Let's continue our matryoshka. Might as well. Let's open up another baby. Yeah, so Daniel uh, generously sent us, I think, all the variants from this year's release. Uh, this is out of Astoria, which we've talked Astoria. about. Astoria. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. Uh, so, anyway, we've already beat that. Goonies never <laughs> say die. Anyway, uh, this is Fort George Brewery, the Sweet Virginia series. So this is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with coconut, vanilla, and almond. Mm -hmm. So it's... You're adding the layers to the dolls, as we talked about right. last time. The on the final variant we have is the addition of blueberries. Blueberry. So this one uh, is adding almond over the one we had last time. If you remember, if you've watched these, if not, go back and watch them. Of course you did. Of course you watched them. First one was tons of bourbon, mm -hmm. tons of bourbon, uh, but not a lot of coconut. Maybe hints yeah, of something it. sweet. Maybe. And then yeah. the vanilla, like just, I mean, it was. It was like, it, it completed. It was, you complete me. <laughs> you know, that's what it did for that beer. And, uh, <laughs> Wait, you watched that movie? I thought that was a girl movie. Of course. Well, I mean, come no, on. No, it was a good movie. <laughs> Show, Show me, me the, the money. money. <laughs> anyway, uh, and so this <laughs> one's adding almonds. So we're curious, I mean, we, what was it? It was last week, right, that we did that? Yeah. So it's pretty relatively fresh on our mind that we did that beer. So let's see if we can get the okay. almond out of let's this. See. And hopefully the vanilla... That that awesomeness from that stays. So enough hype. Thank you, Daniel, for for sending us. Thanks, Daniel. Um, I mean, pretty dark, right? Yeah, can't see much around it. Holds the glass pretty decent. Yeah, twelve point seven five percent. I didn't say it. Twelve point seven five. All right, so the nose. Okay. I mean, I get something kind of nutty. I get, I get this kind of thin smelling uh, chocolate. Okay. Uh, it, kind of this faint vanilla. By thin smelling, you mean kind of just a light chocolate? This light chocolate, yeah. And then, and then, and I think like, so it's not like this big, rich, desserty chocolate uh, aroma. It's more of like this kind of bourbony chocolate, okay. you know. This, this uh, <clears throat> almost. I think I, I think I'm getting some bourbon in that nose with the chocolate, I guess. Hmm. And then maybe that almond there. I mean, it's not a very a, a robust aroma, is it? No, <clears throat> I was thinking it smells a lot like Woot Stout. Okay. Um, you know, with that nuttiness to it, but it smells but better. But worst out is pecans, right? right? It's yeah. just that nut. Oh, okay. There's no way I'd be able to tell you what kind of nut. Yeah. It just has a nutty. I'm not getting a whole lot of aroma on this, uh, to be honest with you. It's not very it's robust. It's warmed up enough, too. So Yeah, um, I'm interested to see what it... I get something a little sweet. Couldn't say for sure if it's yeah. vanilla. Because but... oftentimes you get these aromas, you're like, I know exactly what I'm about to taste. I'm, I'm, it's going to be unwrapping a present. I'm yeah. not sure. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, it definitely has that sweet vanilla thing that was going on in the last one. But it's got a little something more. Yeah. Um, would would you know it was extra nuts of no. some kind? I, I don't know that I would be able to tell that. I'm not sure I could put the nuts in my mouth, you know? I mean, I just couldn't... <laughs> I, I couldn't... <laughs> It's, it's got those little white coconut things jokes. going on that we talked about too. I don't know if you, I got those. I love the being able to see those little coconut flakes. Is that hairs? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I'm trying to spit this beer out. Hmm, really good. So this beer comes off again. That bourbon, the, the, the bourbon barrel um, in this is very well done. It definitely comes through for me. I get this kind of. The, it's kind of like what Bourbon County does. So mm -hmm. it's it's got this chocolate, but also this candy toffee thing okay. a, 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 with with bourbon, and that's kind of right off the front is what I get. And then I get this very smooth, creamy uh, vanilla coconut that that desserty one. Not not the one that we talk about is the bad coconut, the sunscreen. It's that it's that desserty, cakey okay. uh, coconut vanilla icing thing. And then, like you said, there's a hint of almond. Sometimes there's so much almond in a beer, it tastes like amaretto to me. Okay. And I don't get that. I don't either. Okay. Yeah, I don't either. There may be a hint of it, but it's not strong. It's not overpowering. It's just a pleasant uh, flavor at the end of the beer for me. I would agree that I get more of the bourbon flavor, um, you know, more barrel character. Uh, certainly more than we got from the Canis that we just did. Um, I like it, though. I, I do feel like I get a nuttiness to it, but there's no way I'd be able to tell that yeah. you know, they added almonds to it right um it's almost like you said with the woo stuff it's almost as generic like this i i couldn't tell this is pecan i'm not even sure i would definitely say it i think i would say there's some flavor if i was taking mm -hmm. if i was doing this blind there's some flavor here that yeah. i can't quite put something a little more on. complex yeah that, mm -hmm. yeah 
um, but it adds to it. I, I think it's good. I still get the sweetness from the coconut and vanilla. Um, so this one better than just the coconut vanilla. Um, it's different. Um, that beer was such a jump up from that from from just just, uh, the, just the coconut one for me that uh, it stood out. This one doesn't stand out as being like yo yeah better or mm -hmm. nope not as good. It's it's in that same that same range for me. I, agree I with think that. maybe just different but not better or worse right. for me. Okay, I'll buy that. Mm. It's just I mean the vanilla was was what this beer needed. I mean it was yeah, yeah. vanilla should have been the the uh, perhaps the first shell of the material schedule, yeah, and then sure. coconut, and that that because that was what I mean that changed it for me. But uh, this is a solid four or five for me. Um, I'm with you. I would agree. Yeah, four or five. and I think we even said like or I might have said four or five plus, but it was kind of like I was comparing, and because it was definitely like a quarter point, right? But it might have in retrospect been that the first beer is like a four two five the coconut coconut only, and uh, but this is definitely solid. Mouth feels good. I mean, it's creamy. It's, it's creamy. not thin. It, it, you know, I, than just the coconut mm -hmm. one was. Yeah, I mean it's not thick and chewy, but it's 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 a it's not like um, distractingly thin. Um, it's kind of in that, in that between. So um, I think it's good. It's good. Uh, four or five solid. Sweet. Yeah. I, you know, I like sweet. It's it's kind of getting all my tickers for adjunct style. Yeah, without the vanilla though, um, I think that the nuttiness would kind of be too much. Maybe I, I don't know. Awesome, I, think, really. I think the vanilla really is what makes this beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we'll so, see about man. the blueberry. I, I bet the blueberry oh, makes it. Though. I bet it's so freaking good. I bet it is. With that vanilla and blueberry, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Anyway, yeah, I digress. <laughs> but anyway, time. four fives for both of yep, us. Four yeah, five. solid. Uh, thanks again. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, yeah. Anything else? No. As always, guys, if you have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.